Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team and today I'm going to show you how you can add details to your terrain in Unity 5. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, as you can see, I'm still working with the same terrain we used it on the last video. So, if you want to learn how to create a terrain and create the trees, please go watch the previous videos. Just a quick reminder before you move on. We are using the example project provided with Unity 5. This means I already have all the assets I need for this project uh, in my project. So, uh, if, if you are using a new project, you need to import all the environment assets. To do that, you go to the main menu, Assets, Import Package and select Environment. Now, moving on to the details, Unity allows the terrains to have grass clumps and other small objects such as rocks covering the surface of the terrains. The grass is rendering, is rendering using 2D images, while other objects are usually standard meshes. To add details to the terrain, you select the terrain game object on the hierarchy, just like we did just now. And now, on the inspector tab, you go to the sixth button, this one with the flowers. And this will open the paint detail tool. Now, as you can see, you have uh, some options on the details that are quite similar to the other ones that we have previously seen. Uh, we have a set of brushes that we can choose from to paint the, the details. We have a list of details that right now is empty, so we have to create some details, but we'll do that in just a moment. We have also some settings about the brush, like the brush size, the opacity and the target strength. So let's start by creating some grass so you can paint some details on the terrain. So to do that you go to edit details and you can either choose add grass texture or add detail mesh. Let's start by add grass texture. So, this will open a new window where you can choose from several properties you want for your grass. You can set the detail texture right here, the first one. Uh, you can also define the mean and the max width and height. Uh, you can also change the noise spread parameter of the grass. And finally, you can set the healthy color, the dry color, and if you use billboard or not. So let's start by choosing a a 2D texture for our grass so we click before we, we change we click on the circle right here and this will open a window with all the 2D textures we have in our project so let's search for some grass okay so we now have uh, let's, let's select this one grass font 1 albedo alpha Okay, and now we click on add and as you can see we now have some grass here that you can paint so let me get closer to the terrain so I can show you guys okay so just like before the blue area is the, the area covered by your brush let's select some other brush to give it a more realistic look I think that we may have uh, too many grass in the same area. So um, just a quick reminder, so to clear grass is like we do with the trees. So you hold shift and you clean the grass on that area. So let's select another brush, one that may actually work a little better. Okay, brush size, let's change the strength and the opacity as well. I think it's better. So as we move closer, too close. 
So as you can see we now have some grass on your terrain. I'm still not happy with the effect right now because I think you have too much grass so I'm going to reduce the opacity again and attract the target strength again and I'm going to clear all this, all this. let's just clear this clear 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 let's start try again okay ah, so yeah So one thing with grass is that you need to be closer in order to see it. So for example, right here, want grass, 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 grass. I want some grass here as well. Okay, so I think you now have an idea how this works. Um, you can have several types of grass, so for example, let's add a new grass, so yeah, two, so let me see, grass, we can also choose this one, add, and now you have two different textures of grass that we can choose from. Uh, to I think we can... I don't know if you guys can tell the difference or not. I can't tell the difference between the two textures, honestly. Uh, but as you can see here, you can, we have some color changes. This is why uh, we set the, the color. The, we actually left the default parameters, but you can change the, the color values when you create the, the details. Okay, so basically, this is how you paint grass. So, like I said before, in order to erase the grass, all the grass, you select shift. If, for example, you just want to delete the second type of grass, you press control, left mouse button and this, oops, I was pressing shift, sorry guys. Uh, so if you press control, this will erase only. only yeah right so basically select this one yeah this one is you can see it better so let me see ah, this one is is darker okay so I don't think we actually paint any of this no I think we, we had the other one selected ah, okay so now I can yeah you can, can clearly tell the difference between between the two the two types of grass um, I just need something here um, so like I was saying, for example, if you want to just erase the dark grass, you just press control and as you can see, you will keep the, the greener one and the dark one will get erased. So that's just some black grass. Okay, so this is how basically you add grass to your terrain. Now, if you want to add, for example, some rocks to the surface of your terrain, you are not doing that by adding grass. You do that by going to Edit Details and you select Add Detail Mesh. Now, as you can see, you have uh, similar parameters to the grass. You can set them to Vertex Lead here because right now it's not grass, it's, it's for example some rocks. Um, you can also change the, the parameters here, but we want to change, select some grass so some grass not some rocks so the problem here is that we don't have a single rock prefab in our project so I'm going to exemplify this by using a cube that we have I can select this one box okay so we have a box let me just get closer so you guys can see it so I can get here ah okay I forgot click add uh, yeah so now you have the box right here so if you want to add some boxes that's a little bit too much I think let's reduce the target strength and the opacity and yeah okay yeah, that's better as you can see we'll paint some 
let's say rocks in your to terrain but well, yeah we don't have any rocks so we basically basically just use it some cubes but yeah this is how you paint details to the to the terrain now if you want to change any details you have created all you need to do is select the detail you want from the D from the list you go here edit details and you can select edit it this will, this window will open again and you can change to anything so like for example let's change the cube to let's see pillar for example apply yeah so this will erase the pillar so I don't know if this was a good idea because I don't see any pillars because they are basically huge or not yeah uh, we have the pillars right here so they are huge so not a very smart choice here though so let's just change this one again let's see if we can select another one for example wall yeah i don't see any walls around the area oh apply sorry uh so yeah this is basically how you can um, how you can paint uh, details so you can just go here no sorry go here so if you want to delete for example the wall from our list you just go here edit details and you hit remove and this will remove the details from your list so guys this is basically how you paint details onto your terrain so on the next video we are going to show you how you can change the skybox in your scene right now you have the default one so you are going to show you show you how you can change the skybox remember if you are enjoying this series remember to subscribe to our channel for more video tutorials and to leave a like your support is very appreciated so until then have a nice day